What's going on guys? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Andreas and I make fishing content here on YouTube. So usually in these videos you guys see me out in the water fishing and stuff, but today we're actually in the house talking about none other than sunglasses. Very important when it comes to protecting your eyes and helping you get more of an edge on those fish. So this video is for anybody from the most casual fisherman that just goes on the weekends to somebody that's out on the water every single day tournament fishing or doing guide trips. I'm gonna give you guys all the information that you need to pick out the next pair of sunglasses for the type of fishing that you do every single trip. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right guys, so before I get right into all the information, I wanna just throw it out there that I'm not sponsored, affiliated, or endorsed by any of these companies. I'm just giving you guys the information that you need to hear before you go out and buy your next pair of sunglasses. So, first things first, if the sunglasses you're looking at are cheap, plastic, and unpolarized, forget about them. Glass lenses are actually much more scratch resistant than plastic lenses, and they actually give you a much crisper view of the water when you're looking down on top of it and there's a lot of glare. So go ahead and forget about all those plastic lenses that you've been looking at. Now, there might be a little bit of a price difference, but I promise you it's worth it, definitely in the long run, and definitely when it comes to the quality of the view that you're gonna be getting from the glass lens over the plastic lens. Now, the biggest thing you're gonna need out of these glasses is for them to be polarized. If they're not polarized, Definitely forget about them. They won't do you any good out there on the water and they're definitely not worth your time or money if you're looking for a good pair of fishing glasses. So now that you know the type of glasses you should be looking for, glass and polarized, let's go ahead and talk about the colors that you should be looking for and how they vary with what you're doing out on the water. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and talk about our offshore fishermen. So if you guys are typically offshore fishing wrecks and open waters, you're gonna want a blue lens pair of sunglasses, something like this. The reason that is, is because you typically match the color of the lens to the color of the water that you're fishing, and offshore waters are typically blue. So you can also go with a gray, grayish silver um, lens, but that's not as good as the blue lens for offshore fishing. Now, on the other hand, if you're an inshore fisherman, you're gonna wanna go ahead and go with a green lens because inshore waters are typically greener, kind of lighter, not really dark blue like they are offshore in the deep waters. Something kind of like this. You're gonna want the inside of that lens to actually be orange, and that is really gonna help you guys see those fish a lot better especially because you're gonna want this greenish orange lens if you're doing a lot of sight fishing and shallow water fishing and just flats fishing in general. It's really gonna help you guys out. Now speaking of inshore fishing, um, the light copper color is also a good lens, but it's definitely not as good as that greenish orange lens. So that's also an option out there if you really hate the look of the green glasses. And last but not least, this is kind of a weird option but there's a yellowish silver lens that some companies make. I'll go ahead and put it up on screen here so you guys can see what that looks like. I wouldn't really recommend getting glasses like this because the places that these glasses shine is in low light conditions in which most cases you wouldn't even need glasses. Now that just comes down to personal preference, but I know when the sun's coming up and going down and I'm fishing, I typically put my glasses on my head until it's time to just put them down since it's too bright outside. But these yellow, yellowish lens glasses can also be really good on really cloudy days, but I honestly still prefer those green and orange lens glasses when it's a overcast day in shore. Great, so now that you guys know which lens color you're gonna need for the type of fishing that you do, let's go ahead and talk about which shape is gonna be the best for the things that you're doing. Now, this one kind of comes down to preference and how extreme you are and serious about fishing, but I know that my old pair of glasses here was kind of more casual. They kind of had that squarish frame. You can see they don't really wrap around really far, which is actually what makes a lot of glasses fishing glasses. If you look here, this is a pair of glasses from like a gas station, like 25 bucks, not even polarized. Look how skinny they are 
when you turn them, they block out light from coming inside here, which gives you a lot more of a contrast when you're trying to look down into the water to find those fish, because sometimes it's really difficult to see those fish as you guys have probably figured out by now. That's more for the serious anglers. If you guys don't really care that much about it, the ones that are more square but still have a little bit of a curve are gonna be just fine. I've had these glasses for years and they didn't really have that kind of extreme curve that those other glasses that I recently bought have and they honestly were just fine. But yeah, definitely if you really care about just getting the best possible advantage and view out of your glasses, I would make sure that there's not a lot of open space where light can come in behind your glasses. And I would also really, really make sure that the glasses are comfortable on your head because you're going to be wearing these a lot. So now that you're gonna know exactly what kind of shape is gonna be important for your fishing glasses and the lens color that you're gonna need, let's go ahead and talk about some of the brands that I'm gonna recommend to you guys. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the best brands in the fishing industry when it comes to glasses. In my opinion and many other people's opinions, Costa, and Oakley make the best glasses when it comes to sunglasses for fishing. The contrast and the colors that pop from the lenses that they make are extremely well, and they're very comfortable on your face all day. They're lightweight, very good materials. They're not really irritating to wear, and they're really just a good buy, and they seem to last a long time. I mean, I've had mine a little over four years now, and the only thing that happened was I cracked the lens because I dropped it from really high up. Now, with that being said, you do end up paying for that quality. Costas and Oakleys are pretty expensive, but if you're looking for something a little more affordable that's still a great quality lens and a lot of serious anglers like these, there's these glasses called the Smith's Guides Choice. And they're a great pair of glasses, but some of them can actually be just as expensive as the Costas and Oakley's so go ahead and check the pair of glasses that you find from Smith's Guide Choice with some of the other ones that you might like from Oakley and Costa because they might actually be very similar price and in which case I would go with the Costas or the Oakley's. Although they are sometimes more affordable people have said that they're not as comfortable as Costas and Oakley's. Alright guys so now that you have all the information that you're going to need to go out and buy your pair of sunglasses for fishing I hope that you guys find a pair that you love and enjoy, and I hope it really does help you catch more fish. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and go down below and give me a thumbs up, and check out some of my other videos because you might really enjoy some of the fishing content here on the channel, and in that case, you might wanna consider subscribing so you stay updated on any other future videos that I put out. As always, guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and until next time, peace.